everyone, my name is Tara and I just spent the last four months studying abroad in Paris, France. It was a dream come true, but now I'm back home looking to make 2023 start on the same note that 2022 ended with, starting with spending time with my family and my friends just before my next adventure. I've got about six or seven months completely free before my full-time job starts in July and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do, but if you follow along, maybe we'll find out. So, hope you enjoy. Hey, I am in the US, and yes, I still have a smile on my face. Currently, what I've been doing these past couple of days is staying busy, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for the next six or seven months. And I just had three calls for interviews for being an au pair. I've also contacted possibly being a bartender at some places, looking up rents places, like flights places. I'm not like overwhelmed surprisingly, but like I am continuing to stay optimistic, which I think is super important. And I'm also continuing to stay on top of it. Like I just need to, as soon as I feel like really good about something, I need to jump at the opportunity. I have learned that it is difficult to be in Europe, <laughs> but it's not impossible. Like there are ways to do it, or I could go to South America. But the fact that I have the opportunity to do all of these things is super cool. So I'll keep you updated. But I just wanted to film this part because I think it's just cool to see yourself in a transition period where you're like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. What are we, what's... And then hopefully in like a month or two, I'll be like, I figured it out. I'm here and I'm thriving. I just also yesterday submitted like a ad on Facebook groups for a roommate because the other person that I was reaching out to said that they only needed two. Oh, look. Okay. So they did post it and it looks like it's only guys. Oh, okay. Well, at least I went for it, you know, so hopefully somebody. Okay. Well, Keep you updated about that too. Er, I just dropped something. Oh, thank God. You know when you drop something in the sink and you're like, could be, could be gone forever, could not be. So, this is the fit. We are gonna go to a concert with a bunch of people uh and a lot of artists i don't know so fun this is the fit this is princess polly i like the open back but i never like to put my hair up when i go out because it's my best feature i like it and then jewelry this is everything i found in my drawer armoire makeup let me show you not bad i'm trying to like just try more so we did green glitter brown eyeshadow and then i used powder for the very first time courtesy my sister and then the earrings are from brandy melville where are you very simple sound it get a dance oh sheesh i'm dropping everything okay So we're gonna go do that and it's in Brooklyn and I'm gonna go meet up at my friend's apartment beforehand to go hang out before and very excited. Today I got the news that I am gonna be going to Madrid for three months and then for that I will be going to San Diego. Get at me. So this is that moment that I had before where it was like, oh, I hope everything works out and everything. Yes, it did because I worked really hard and I tried not to stress out too much. But now I have to take my exam for my job before I go and do that. So I have like a month to study and normally people take like three months. Very much sounds on brand for me. So wish me luck. See you soon. Happy New Year's Eve. I just took out my curls and went pretty plain for tonight. But look at this mess. I'll show you my outfit in a second, but oh my god. We just wanted volume and I got it. 
This is the fit. We got sheer under the tank top and just a very plain black skirt to show you I would. Let me see if I can. I love when my hair is all fluffy. New Year's resolutions right now is what I can come up with is I would like to read more. I don't really read enough. Second resolution is to get more sleep. Third is to be way more confident, is my confidence. I, nobody like admits it. I mean, I feel like they don't, but mine's like very low and it shouldn't be. I work really hard to get where I am and I'm pretty disappointed as a person. So there's no reason why I shouldn't have confidence. I'm trying to fix my bangs right now because they're done. it doesn't match the rest of my hair. I don't wanna be in the city right now. Talk soon. This was something that I thought was really cute was that uh, I think a minute before you have the countdown or no, no, a minute before it strikes 12 for the new year, you grab 12 grapes and then you try to eat them before it hits 12. And that signifies the 12 good months you're gonna have in the following year. i would never heard of this, but I guess it's like a popular thing. But knowing me, I was given the bag of grapes and then ate them immediately. When I say them, I ate one, so I only have one bad month, but we're just gonna manifest that way. I thought that was like super cute because now you'll see a video of us doing that. And then we say happy new year, so. because I didn't plan on going to the city, and then I did. So, yeah, a wet brush. Sippy cup. Definitely have your cup for the links. Google, sunscreen for no reason. Another sippy cup. <laughs> Some makeup. I took matches from the place, lipstick, I, I had my uh, license, some lip gloss, a pen, foreign currency, this key. So this was the past couple of days, just being back home and kind of having a little bit of Paris withdrawals. But anyways, I've had so much fun and I'm really excited for what's next. So I'll catch you next time. T4 out.